Well, I guess it's time we do the uh, 100 hour review on this Spartan Zero turn. I know some of you guys are asking questions, uh, how is it holding up, um, a couple different accessories and things like that I'll go over real fast. Um, right now we've got 95 hours on it, so it's close enough to the 100 hour I can give a review on it. Um, another reason for making this video is I actually just sold this machine, um, not because there's anything wrong with it. Um, where I cut grass at, they they piled some more yards on top of me, and um, we're going to need a bigger mower. Um, you guys know I mow the ball fields here um, in western Pennsylvania, um, just uh, north of Pittsburgh here. Um, so I currently mow three baseball, baseball fields and then um, three big picnic areas, and... Um, they actually just expanded over there, so we're going to have another, I don't know, probably six, seven acres over there. So I figured I'm going to bump up to probably the 61, possibly the 72. I'm not 100% sure which way I want to go yet. So, you know, even though the, the 54 has done an outstanding job, um, it'll just allow me to get done a little bit faster. Um, I am going to purchase another Spartan, um, so I'll keep you in the loop. Or I should say I should be purchasing another Spartan. Um, as long as everything goes right with the deals and everything, uh, it's fall or it's, uh, winter here now. Sorry. Um, so everybody should have uh, pretty good deals going on, but, uh, we'll go over the hundred hour review. Um, I have not broken anything on this machine yet. Um, everything is still super tight. No noises, no vibrations, nothing. Um, all the bearings feel good. I've changed the blades. I'm going to say four, maybe five times now. Um, I really like these, uh, I think they call them the Gator G2s. Um, you can see the little ribs in there. It just helps a little bit for uh, mulching grass up. Um, some of our grass gets a little bit high. We cut it every other week, so that does a really nice job. Um, as you see, I got the uh, chute taken off here. Uh, the reason for that is just, it just, um, you know, the chute, hangs down a little bit and with normal grass it's not a problem but when you have higher grass it'll tend to you know build up and you might leave uh edges um so i took that off and honestly i don't have any problem with it uh whether the grass is high or low i don't have problems with you know grass blowing in my face or anything like that this thing has plenty enough power to blast it all out um but yeah the uh the bearings are all good no problems there. Um, let me pop this open here so I can get to a couple of your guys' questions pretty quick here. I told you I purchased that uh, um, belt damper here. Um, so what that does is that just takes a little bit of this jolt out of the uh, belt. Um, definitely makes a big difference. Uh, you turn the uh, PTO on this thing and it's immediately on. No big vibrations, nothing like that. Um, so, yeah, definitely helps. Uh, some of the guys wanted to see how I wired up this light. So, you have your main wire coming out of the side here. That wire comes down right into here. And all I did was I just put two ends on here. Um, so, you got a positive and a negative. And I just, you know, went to the local hardware store and bought black and red wire and I twisted it to help keep it upright go straight down the frame you can see straight down the frame then I just kind of hung it up there come down and around here and you'll see this is the this is your main uh, accessory harness here for the Spartan um, and all I did was I just used these little connectors here on the uh, the smaller of the two um, connectors um, you have a red and a black wire coming out of there so it was really easy tie the red to the red the black to the black and voila you push the button and it turns it on so this sends a signal down to here and then that in return turns the lights on so that's really all there is to um, adding a light to this mower uh, you're not going to get any easier than that um, while we're here hydros 
no problems whatsoever, no noises, no creep and nothing. Um, just as good as the day it was new. Um, the engine itself, um, I did blow one of my stickers off. Oh well, these things happen. Uh, motor's in still great condition, no noises. Um, plenty enough power to do anything you need to with this machine. 54 inch cut. This thing just, you know, flies through the stuff. This is the 25 horsepower. Um, again, I really like the Briggs & Stratton engines. Um, maintenance is easy on them, um, just like any other mower or motor. Um, as far as the exhaust, no rot. Still nice silver color. Rest of the paint, same way. Powder coat on this machine was done by a professional. Um, no chips. Um, it's not bubbling anywhere. It's just uh, a, a nice powder coat. Um, even like the uh, the edge of the deck here. Mine's a little green. That's from cutting lots and lots of grass. But I got a couple little chips off there. Um, that's to be expected. You know, running over rocks and hitting little things and sticks and whatever else. So that's a pretty easy cleanup. Um, the guy that is going to purchase this mower. I'll help him out with anything he needs on it. Um, he just lives right down the street here. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll clean that up and, and probably put some uh, bed liner on there or something, maybe make it a little bit more tough. Uh, but really there's, there's not going to be any problems with it. It's, uh, it's not even rusting. The steel itself isn't rusting. Um, the bare steel again, um, original belt, Original tires, everything on this thing is the day like I bought it, minus a couple of the, you know, a few accessories. One of the other things that I did get for this, um, put that down. I bought this kit that mounts here. It's their pin setup, so you can put a pin uh, into block here, and it'll lock this onto here. I didn't want it for that purpose. I wanted it because this arm here is so much thicker than that arm there. Um, and the kit that it came with, there's a bracket up here. Um, it just makes this all stronger so you don't have to worry about it bending or breaking. Um, the one that was on here before had a slight bend in it. Um, it wasn't really a big deal but I noticed it, I didn't like it, so we changed it and Spartan had the right stuff to change it over, so nice, quick, easy, cheap um, fix. Uh, makes it a lot stronger and now you don't have to worry about any uh, problems with that. Um, I'll show you the hour meter here. 94.9, um, we'll see if we can find the mo time. 72.9 so 73 total hours of mowing again if you guys have any other questions uh, let me know everything everything's good so far um, thanks guys and we'll continue to keep you posted